Hey guys, welcome back to Megacraft Reborn. We're at episode 17 today, and let's get right into things here. Uh, I'm chopping down some trees because I want some birch wood. I want a little bit of every wood because we're going to go right over and start work on our next project here. So, let's, let's throw this in here. Uh, I've got a little bit of wood here, just a little sample. I'm not sure what kind we're going to want. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. I'm going to throw that in here. I do need to actually repair my shirt. Let's do that. Uh, oh, that's... I'm breaking three, that's alright. How much is it gonna cost? 23 levels. Eh, I've got enough to spare. We'll do it. There we go. Alright, let's head over. We're gonna go work on the nether. Um, so, it's been a few episodes since we last built it with Snow Crash. And uh, the Wither Skeleton Farm has been ex a success so far. Um, as always, there's probably still gonna be a little bit of caving left to do. Uh, or not caving, what am I saying? Uh, there's there's a little bit of slabbing to do in the nether over by the farm. But there is a ton of slabbing already done. And I always kind of <laughs> explain how much slabbing has been done. But it's quite the task, I have to say, guys. If you're going to take on a project like this, don't underestimate how much time you're going to spend slabbing to actually make the farm efficient. Uh, oh, let's turn that down just a minute here. So let's go down to volume 20. There we go. That is weird, I'm not hearing anything from the volume of the minecart because I turned it down to zero and then turned it back up to 20 and I don't hear anything, which is actually kind of nice. I think it's probably just a little glitch in the game, but I like it because now I don't have to listen to the block volume. Because even if you turn down the, uh, I think it's the block volume, you can still hear player sounds, which is the minecart. And yeah, you can't, you have to get rid of both of them. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But uh, here we are, we're approaching the Wither Skeleton Farm, and it's going to look like a mess right now because I've been kind of marking out things, laying out things, and uh, I'm going to explain what everything looks like. Let's get out of here, break that, and we'll put that in the chest. Okay, so let's go down here. Here is the area that is kind of a mess at the moment, which we'll have to work on. So what we need to do here is we're going to... We're going to fix this place up. We need a place to store all of our dogs for one thing, because this is a dog-powered wither skeleton farm. And for two, we need a system that saves all of the items and sorts them out into into uh, several chests. So I was thinking about a system like this. That's actually not what we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. It's kind of similar. It's going to be shifted up and moved somewhere else a little bit. But uh, right now, everything just goes in right here. we got three wither skeleton skulls, actually. And I, want, I run this farm every once in a while, and while I'm standing here, it still collects, and then I can run in, uh, make the dogs go chase the guys, that kind of thing. So, how are we going to lay this place out? I was I spent a lot of time thinking about it, um, and I wasn't really sure. I kept going on ideas, and then scratching the idea, and trying something else, scratching it, and, you know, I've been messing around with things. I really have not been able to uh, think of anything at, yet, until now. So, what we're going to do, sorry about that Skype squeak, I'm going to actually, I'm going to get rid of that real quick, and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, it's all fixed now. So, to sum everything up that I was talking about, uh, let's go over the plan of what this place is going to be. Uh, first things first though, I want to just show you um, some of the features that I've added here. So this is going to be kind of the area that you walk in to run the farm, and we're just going to keep this pathway pretty much the same. We'll probably change out, make this uh, not glass or something else, I don't know. This is probably actually going to be sea lanterns when I get enough, because those will look much better than glass, and I don't have to look at the weird lava textures and stuff. And then this is just a window you can look through. So this building is going to have two layers on it. There's going to be this bottom floor where you get your dogs. That's where everyone's going to keep their separate dogs and stuff. And this is kind of an idea I had for kennels. And then there will be an upper floor, which there will be a staircase right here. You'll walk up to an upper floor that is right there. So if I grab some blocks here, I can go up to the upper floor and you'll see kind of the uh, height. Uh, let me grab some other blocks too, actually. Might as well just grab a few building materials here just in case I need them. Uh, let's make a few extra stone bricks also, because I'm going to use a bit of them. All right, so the main floor, where all of the items are going to be sorted at and everything like that, and where you first come into the farm, is going to be right here. So you can actually look inside of here and see all the action that's going on. You'll see kind of the heads poking up. Uh, we can't see anything right now, but you can see there. There is a blaze. Sometimes blazes will get over on this side. It's not too big of a deal. When we get this thing running at max efficiency, all those kinds of guys will end up dying anyways because of other other mobs falling down. Let me come back up here. So this is our level. 
this is our main level and then to the right over on this side this is going to be our uh, our sorting system so all of our chests will be over here besides uh, one of one of the chests one of the chests is gonna sort items and it's actually gonna put items right here uh, this chest will just be for rotten flesh only and that's just basically our dog food so this farm produces rotten flesh from the zombie pigmen and it'll come down here we'll filter it out and put it into this chest and then we can just grab that and breed our dogs, heal them up, things like that, because dogs do die once in a while on this farm. It's kind of tragic, I know, but it's just the way it is. If you want to farm this epic, you gotta deal with the costs. So, there we go. Yeah, you can see guys, kind of, their heads are poking through. So you know that there's wither skeletons in there. If I wanted to run the farm, I could run down the stairs when they're built, come in here, and uh, activate it. You guys have seen the farm probably by now. If not, this is just a real quick demo. Uh, that dog runs up and just starts biting those guys. So, I'm actually going to get to work here. I have not planned out the ideas of what I wanted to do for, like, the block coloring. Like, the block choices that I want to use. So, I want to use stone brick because it looks good. And I like this little section right here where you can walk up and uh, see everything. Uh, and then for pathways, I was toying with the idea of maybe going for some nether brick. What do you guys think? Let's take a look at this. And, um... I was thinking maybe just like this floor area, even this could even be nether brick too. But um, yeah, since this is kind of a wither farm, it would feel like you're in a wither fortress a little bit, but like it's been taken over and modernized and I don't know. <laughs> it might look cool. And that actually does look really cool uh, with everything else. And then da -da, let's clear out just a little bit more because this will actually connect to there as well. For the most part, you'll be walking through like pathways that are kind of three wide, just like this. Let's throw that right there. Okay, so this will be the floor you can walk on. These are half slabs, so nothing can spawn in here. Uh, and then we can have some stairs right there. I can make some nether brick stairs real quick. We can take a look at what that will look like, on one side at least. So that's going to be right here, nether brick stairs, and then just nether brick slabs right through here. Might be a little bit dark, so we'll want to use some other blocks through here as well. But, yeah, that, that could work. Looks a bit weird right here. I might want to do, like, a turn the stairs around on this side, too. Except that's going to offset things just a bit. Huh, I'd have to think about that. I, I might just leave it like this. And then, why this is raised, though, is I want to have fences. So I had some nether brick fences, but I might want to just use a normal wood. Uh, hoping that it doesn't burn though, that is. But um, let's see, should we try out, let's try a couple of fences here. I'm gonna craft some fences of the different kinds and I'll just put them next, kind of side by side, see if I can get an opinion here. Okay, well I got a few fences here, those blazes are kind of annoying. But uh, let's take a look at them. So here is uh, the dark oak fences could work uh you know i don't actually have a block picked out right here as well so that's something that i should do so we got the dark oak fences i was thinking maybe the acacia fences might look cool in this build since we're using the nether brick so let's see here yeah we got some guys in there oh hey dog set him down uh so yeah acacia looks cool uh and then we've got just regular oak looks something like that and then we've got spruce and honestly, looking at this, I think I almost want to go with Acacia, just because it goes with this, and you don't have a whole lot of uses, a uh, whole lot of opportunities to use Acacia. It's growing on me. I think I might use that, try it out. And uh, I do need to pick out a block that would go right here. What do I have that I could experiment with? Um, we got Glowstone, not a whole lot of it. And then just Stone. We could do, ooh, we could do Stone Variants. We could do this some chiseled stone. Let's try that actually. If we just did the floor with chiseled stone, just right under here and right here. So yeah. Huh. Yeah, well, we might be able to do something like that. And uh, and then we'd have acacia on the top. Let's see here. And then instead of actually having slabs right here, uh, we could do sea lanterns as well, so that they're like up just a level here. 
yeah, that could that could work really well. Um, so let me make some more of these. I don't think I brought a whole lot of acacia. Yeah, I didn't. But I'll make a few of these sections here, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I've done a bit of work here and uh, done a lot since the last cut. I said I was just going to do a little bit, but I kind of got carried away. We'll go down here in just a second. But I got a little bit carried away, plus I was playing some... Uh, uh, playing on the server with Ben actually creepers gaming and he helped me out with this a little bit And we were just working while it was late at night So I wasn't able to record but I did a bunch of work and uh, let's take a look down here This is kind of what we got going on down here. So I decided to go with these uh, orange fences They look really cool uh, and as you can see we've got those you can just open it up let the dogs out Then We've got pistons with lighting underneath so there's glowstone underneath that and uh, that's letting plenty of light through here, plus nothing can spawn on the pistons, so that's uh, good. We're not going to get zombie pigmen in here. And then, what else we got? We got cool lamps here, so that looks really cool. Uh, so we, right now we've got eight separate kennels, eight separate places to store dogs. But if we need to expand it more, we can just keep going straight back that way, and that's the whole idea. We'll just go farther and farther back over there, and we can just keep adding more of these if we get so many people on the server that we need more than this. But it'll be good for now. Uh, right here, this is going to be two separate chests. One of them is going to be for the Wither Skeleton Skulls, and the other will be for Rotten Flesh. So the idea is that you can come here, you can get the Rotten Flesh, feed your dogs, breed them, get a few more, heal them up, things like that. And uh, right here is the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Uh, the reason I wanted to do the Wither Skeleton Skulls down here is because you can come out, the first thing you're going to be wanting to know as soon as you come out of the farm, how many skulls did you get? So you can run over here, and that's where you'll be able to see. And uh, one chest should be fine. We're never going to fill up a whole chest. Actually, I shouldn't say never, because maybe we will at some point. But um, let's come up here. So this is the main area. This is the main platform. You're able to see and look through into the farm right here, see all the wither skeletons. Uh, and then we've got the walls. We're going to do something like this on the walls here. Right now it's just flat. And then on this side, this is where all the chests will be. So what we need to do is down here, we need to set up a sorting system to sort the skulls right here and another sorting system to sort the rotten flesh right here and that's going to bring it all over to there and then anything else i mean I, I had to shift this line of hoppers over so it just comes straight down but anything else that goes over the top here we'll just go into this dropper and that'll go up into our sorting system for this level so we need to make a little dropper elevator and i need to look up a design because i always forget good designs for dropper elevators i've made tons of different kinds and it's not really going to matter which one I use, but um, yeah, that's just going to be where the droppers are going to go. We are probably going to do that a little bit higher, actually. But first things first, let's make a sorter right here. So, I'm sure you guys have seen this. Let's see if I can get it going. I, do I have... I only have like five nether rack. This is going to be a little bit scary doing it over the lava. But um, I should be able to just make one just right here. Alright, so I just cut that out because it was a little bit difficult to do this with the lava. I had to eat one of my golden apples. But I got both the sorter things in place. Repeater there and there. Get a couple of redstone here as well. Uh, oh, that block's not supposed to be there. Okay, so I got that. Uh, oh, I need to get out of here. Alright, and then we need to have a comparator right there. Let's just double check everything is good. Uh, one other thing we're missing is... We need to get a torch underneath here, so a torch right there, and a torch right there, and that should be everything for this order. Okay, so let's just get that right there and there. Uh, one thing I should probably do is make sure I slab up everything, so I'm going to come through here and put slabs anywhere that we might get something to spawn on, because they can spawn on the redstone, and we just don't want that to happen, because we'll just get a bunch of pigmen sitting here in magma cubes and whatnot. Alright, that should be good. So we've got that slabbed up. That's all taken care of. Now, all that's left is this is where we're going to put the slot. Let me go make an anvil, and I'm going to rename some stone, and then uh, and then we'll put the item filters in right there. And those will be ready to go. All right, got a bit of sorter stone, and then we need to get some items for the filter. I want to make it so that it only has to keep one wither skeleton skull inside here at all times. So to do that, I need to just put enough items in here so that as soon as we get one more okay there we go so I think I need to take one out and if I put one in there then it stays in there if I put another one in then it's gonna put it through alright so that sword is good let's just double check and grab that out of there okay and then for this side it doesn't really matter because it's just rotten flesh so I'm just gonna put one in there and then just put the rotten flesh right there and that'll go through as well boom all better 
Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe we'll have the first chest just right back here. So we'll put it on top of um, something here. Maybe I'll do, actually I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a uh, stair right there everywhere, everywhere we have a chest. And so that way it kind of raises up to it so it doesn't look like the chest is out a little bit. I don't know. It'll look good when it's done, I think, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to put these stairs here. Let's see, we have a bunch of different things that are going to be in this system, so we need to make sure, let's see, let's count up all the different items we're going to get out of this. So we've got the Wither Skeleton Skulls, and we've got the Rotten Flesh, so that's one, two, then we have three Cactus. Gas tiers are not going to happen often unless you man manually kill it Ghast, uh, because Ghasts aren't really normally supposed to spawn in this very often, so let's just not worry about that. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, huh, is that all of them? Just five? Arrows, let me order this real quick and I'll count up everything. Alright, so I think I've got it. We're just gonna have a sorter for cactus, coal, magma cream, bones, arrows, and gold nuggets. So that's six plus the two that are down here, that's eight, and then we'll also have one extra for anything left over, if it's overflowed or any of the rare drops that you might get once in a while, like swords, then we can have an extra chest for that. Okay, so this is where the chests are going to be going, there's the six chests to be sorted, and then this last one will be uh, anything left over. I think we might actually do eight though, because I want to have a way that it automatically throws away certain items, because we're going to get uh, swords from these guys, and, and they actually come through quite often. Uh, so you get these stone swords and that is going to clog up this system like crazy. So either I'm going to have to put a way that I can sort out stone swords, which there is a way to do that by the way. Um, I can sort out the sto stone swords and actually just throw them away and still have an overflow chest. Uh, or I can just make the overflow chest automatically throw away whatever it is. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But um, let me craft, I need to craft a few more chests so I can finish that up. But I'm leaning more towards the idea of maybe throwing away all the stone swords, but still having an overflow chest for things that might get full. And uh, also things that might drop in the farm, maybe you put something in a hopper on accident, or things like that. And sometimes you'll even kill a ghast, and I'm, I'm going to have a method to kill a ghast if we do actually get ghasts in here. So you guys can see that, it'll be pretty cool, but uh, we'll get into that later. But I'm just letting you know, I think I'm going to do probably... Probably a way to sort out the stone swords. Okay, so I'm getting all of these chests just kind of set up for us to install the sorters here. So there we go. We've got uh, right above each one of these, we have the hopper facing outward, and this is the hopper that's going to have the item filter in it. And so we need to make a little sorting system right behind it. It's going to be the same one all the way throughout. Very simple, uh, and then we just need to get a line of hoppers over the top, and we've got just the right space to do that. I need to grab a few more hoppers. I have some down here. So we'll grab some hoppers, run a line, and uh, I was thinking about a way that I can actually dispense items, like the dispense the swords that get through here. And so what we'll do is, I'm gonna have another sy system kinda right here. Let's go back up top. Uh, I need some blocks to like block up with. Uh, that's not gonna work very well. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see. I'll get up top here, and then I'll explain kind of what we're gonna do here. Okay. So this block will actually be like a dropper or dispenser or something that shoots items into lava. Uh, what it's gonna do is any item that gets over the top of these filters is going to be automatically dispensed out. But this one's actually not gonna have any kind of filter. It'll just flow items downward. So I don't really need to build a sorter right here. But what it's going to do is this, actually I will build some kind of sorter right here though, and that's going to detect whether or not an item is uh, uh, just a, an item that can stack up to 64, or an item that's not stackable. And so I'll have a comparator running out of that hopper, and if, it's, if, if it outputs a signal strength stronger than just one, then we know that it's a, a sword, because that's the only item that's going to be able to get in there and drop a sword. Unless, it's possible that we could actually get a bow and a piece of armor, but it's very rare. It would have to come from a skeleton, and the dog would have to be quick to kill it. But for the most part, it'll just be a stone sword, and either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to want to throw away any of that stuff anyways. So, if it does detect that it's something that's not a stackable item, then it'll output a stronger signal, and we'll lock that hopper so it can't go down, and it'll go straight across as well, and it'll automatically get dispensed out. So I have kind of an idea how I want to do it. I'll have to play with it. But uh, it'll be kind of cool, kind of cool how it works. 
So now we're putting glowstone underneath the chests, and in between them we'll have uh, just the the nether brick here. Okay, now I'm going to try and work on that little uh, sorter idea that I had. See if I can design something real simple. Um, so I'm going to play around with things a little bit, and uh, I'll come back to you guys when I have something that seems to work. Okay, so I think I'm on to an idea here. Uh, so I'm going to slip in a little sorter that's going to detect whether or not it's a sword right here in between before it goes into the overflow. So it's going to try and pull those out beforehand. Um, so, and then what we're going to do is it'll go, any other item that's overflow, it'll go down into here. Uh, but if that fills up completely, then it'll start filling up into this dispenser as well, or the dropper. So, in order to sort out the swords, I was thinking we might be able to just use a classic sorter, but we'll move it up just by one, so it detects straight from the hopper line. So, we're going to put a comparator there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I want to try it out and see how it does. And then, just build a classic sorter shape. Uh, do I have, I need to make a spot for me to walk here. Um, come down here and put a block under there okay now let's set this up here I might actually I should probably extend that by one I'm gonna extend it because we're gonna tile this right next to this sorter as well so I'm just gonna extend it by one so that we can do a little trick to make sure that they don't kind of affect each other and then we need some redstone okay so one two three and then we'll move this block forward just by one as well and then all we need is a repeater and a redstone torch. We should be good to go. Man, this is a little scary. Okay. So repeater there. Redstone torch right here. That is going to power that hopper that's right underneath that runs into this line that goes over to this uh, dropper. Okay, so I think it's set up. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. I've got some sorter flesh right here. And uh, that's just because I don't have a lot of cobblestone anymore. I need to go up and actually set that filter down here. Um, so it's going to be right in this one. Uh, I need to do the same basic idea, just three, four, five, go up until some items start going through. And then I need to take two items out instead of one. How many more do we need? Oh wow, it's not even enough. Um, it may still actually work though, so let's try and put a sword inside there and see what happens. Does that power that torch? Or unpower it, I guess I should say. Nope, it doesn't, so we're going to need more flesh actually renamed, so I'll do that real quick. Okay, there we go, I got more flesh, so let's just keep doing this until we see items go through. Actually, no, we're not even going to see any items go through. I just realized, because it's not pointing into any hoppers. But that torch is still on so we need to do it until that torch turns off and i wonder if i can just actually just do it from underneath it might be a little easier there we go so yeah it's going to be that one so we're going to do this until we see that torch turn off i'm not sure how many it's going to take it might take quite a lot actually wow we might even need a little bit more huh all right I just realized it's not even detecting out of that hopper, it's the one above it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we can do a little fix to that though here. We're going to take all this out. I don't think we'll need any of that now that I think about it though. But what I actually could do, now that I see it, is I could just shift this all back and then make it so it only powers that. So if I put basically everything back by one, then it should work just fine actually. And then I can still put the comparator just right out from this block here. And then block right there. Get rid of you, you. Okay. Repeater there. Redstone here and here. And a comparator. And come on, I really hope this is going to work because I've had to play around with tons of different ways to do this. So I'm hoping that that should work. That's, yeah, okay, that's going to work good. It's not going to power up any other blocks next to it. So that is just fine. And then we need to make a little staircase so we can get back up here. All right, so now we don't have anything in there. So items are going to flow across. Let me try putting an item. I'll put an item in here. I'm just going to put some golden carrots here. OK, 
Okay, so they do, some of them do get inside of here. And that's honestly not too big of an issue because all the items in here are just going to go straight to get dispensed. And this is basically just anything that's overflow anyway. So it's not going to be anything too important. Um, so that all went over to here, I bet. I bet you it went down to here. Yep, there it is. And some hoppers as well. Um, that's not too big of an issue except for the fact that there is the delay. So now if I put a sword in, it probably goes down. Oh, wait. No, it went straight across, which is what we don't want. Okay. Okay, so I still need to do a little bit of work on this. Um, I'm probably just not going <laughs> to... I'll probably just show you guys when I actually figure out a way to do it. So just stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, so I believe I actually got it worked out. It seems pretty simple. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, I've got just basic sorter. This is just the classic version of a sorter right here. Uh, but there's no items in the item filter, and so that's kind of the key. And it's actually detecting from this top layer of hoppers, uh, the line that carries all the items across. So this is just tucked right in between where these sorters are going to be. And uh, what it's going to do is as soon as, let's just put a few test items in. I got rid of these hoppers just so I can put some stuff on top right now. Uh, we'll put some of the, oh, let's see, I don't have any, where are all my, all my swords here? There they are, Okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll put a few sword. Uh, let's we'll put a few chests in, some swords, and some iron, chiseled stone. So we should see that all of the swords end up into here, except there may be one left over just because of how the torch works. But uh, let's just wait for a second. We should see all the stuff that's stackable end up right in here, and then in here. Yeah, there's one sword, and I bet you there's one in this hopper. Yep. So yeah, as swords come through, these will filter through and get over to there. And then also the way that this system is working on the overflow is it'll fill up these three chests first. And if by chance those three are full, then it'll just back up and this hopper right in there. That's pointing into that other line that also leads into this dispenser. So that'll throw away any items as well. So it's kind of cool. It's going to filter out the swords and uh, save the other stuff. And then it has a dispenser for throwing away anything else left over as well. So I got that done. It was a little bit of a headache, but it's such a simple concept. Uh, so hopefully you guys learned a little bit from there. Uh, let's get on to building the rest of the sorters. All right, so I have to do something a little weird because I have a sorter right next to this thing and it's gonna kind of mess with it. So I'm just gonna shift it over by one and uh, it's still a tile of design, so I can actually just kind of lead the hoppers over. The hopper right underneath this one points into here. So I'm going to have this sorter and this one right next to each other. It shouldn't matter too much, though. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a little weird. The rest of them are just going to be the regular sorters, so yeah. Well, there we have it. We have all of the item sorters in place. Now, all we got to do is the filters. So let's, uh, the first one, oh, did I just, yeah, I just right click to that. Whoops. Uh, the first one, I guess we'll just do some coal. Why not? Um, actually, we're going to want three or all of those right there and then coal. Put that in there. And then the second one, I guess we can do bones. So we'll do that. Uh, just one in each spot. And then, oh, not coal, bones. And then let's also, let's throw this coal in right. Oh, not uh, gas here. Whoops. I guess that's going to go into this next one. <laughs> okay, so this third one, uh, we don't want gas tears because we're not going to get a whole lot of that. Um, I guess we can do gold. We'll do gold in that third one. There we go. And then we'll throw the rest of this gold in there, so that'll be sorted. And then the fourth one. Oh, goodness, that is not a good time for that. While I'm doing redstone. Ha! There we go. Blocked it all. Okay, so we've got three of them set. We've got coal, bones, and gold. Actually, before we do gold, let's let's instead of gold here, let's do arrows. I think arrows will be good. Oh my gosh. Get out of there, gold. Oops. There we go. And then the fourth one can be gold. And the fifth one, I guess, will be cactus. Or, no, let's let's make the last one cactus, since cactus is kind of just like a byproduct to this farm. <laughs> so we'll have magnum cream right there, and then the last one is going to be cactus, the one that's right next to it. There we go. Those are both sorting out. Yeah. And then this is all set here, so that's good. The only thing left, as far as the redstone, is just this dropper elevator. So I'll have to look up a design for that. I always forget designs for those. 
Um, but yeah, let's throw in the rest of our items to get sorted out here. We can even throw in some swords. I'm gonna throw, yeah, throw that in. Actually, no, don't don't put the sword of flesh in. That that would be bad. Big no no. Um, I'm actually just gonna throw that into the lava there, right there, into the lava because I don't want that stuff. And then we're just about done here. I'll just throw all that here as well. Clear up my inventory. Okay. So yeah, these should be filling in now. Let's take a look. Got the coal in there, the bones. This should be arrows except for a few pieces. of Gold got in first and other stuff. And then that's where the gold is. This is the cream, the magma cream. That is the cactus. And this last one is overflow. Cool. Now I'm gonna just work on the dropper elevator, so I'll be right back when I get one built. Okay guys, so it's time for another update here. Uh, so we've got this place all closed in, and I'm pretty sure I showed you a lot of this, but I got everything kind of worked out here. We've got some item frames, and this is the wither skeleton skulls. And we've got a spot for the rotten flesh, like we talked about earlier. I had to change something up though, because it turns out the sorter system that I had going on right there, uh, while I built it correctly, I actually needed to have the line of hoppers down by one in order for it to work. And so that wouldn't work unless I had these chests down by one. So what I did instead, actually let's go back out here, is I actually just put filters right in between the big line up there. So you can see they're kind of tucked in between here and that filters out the flesh and the skulls and uh, all is good. So that filters all that stuff out. We got a few skulls in here and some a little bit of a... Some uh, dog food right in there. Oh, whoops. And then let's go take a look at the top. We can just have a look at the redstone in just a bit here. Uh, oh, I hear, hear something slapping around. There he is. Yep. So all of these are sorted out as well. We've got the coal, the bones, the arrows, the gold, yada yada, all that stuff. Magma cream, cactus, and uh, anything extra. Which we're actually getting... I didn't know this, but this is actually a mushroom farm. I don't know where the mushrooms are coming for, from, um, but I guess there's mushrooms in this. Weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, let's let's come hop up on top of here, and a few more. <clears throat> okay, so we got the dropper elevator. This is the silent design I saw on the channel uh, by Cube Hamster. It was actually somebody on his server, I think, that designed it. I don't know the name of them, though. But it's a silent design, so you don't have to listen to clicking the whole time while it transports items up. Plus, no items get stuck inside the little transport thing. So that's good. We don't want any uh, wither skeleton skulls stuck in there. And then we got all the hoppers. And I think I already showed you this, the uh, sorter system that actually sorts out whether it's a sword or not. Ooh, I almost fell in. And so that automatically puts it over into here which we've just got a little dropper with some lava and just spits it out right into there. So yeah, that's that. Um, we are pretty much done with this place. I don't know if we're going to do a roof on this, honestly. We probably should, I'm thinking, so that we don't get gasts. Uh, ideally, later on, we won't actually have any gas spawning anywhere nearby because there won't be any spots for them to. But until then, they may still spawn every once in a while, and I've had it happen. Uh, so... <clears throat> So uh, I'm thinking about doing a roof still. I don't know what I'll do. I might do like kind of like an archway with uh, some stairs and then a little bit of glass, make it kind of a dome a little bit, but more like a, a tunnel than a dome, like a pipe, half pipe, I guess, upside down, if you know what I'm saying. And then right in the middle here, this is where we'll have a minecart line. Uh, what we're going to do for that is we'll have two separate lines, one for coming in, one for going, and we'll have it destroy the minecart coming in. So. Yeah, I have a system worked out for that, but I don't think we'll do it today. We spent a lot of time inside the nether, and I'm getting about tired of it. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring home my wither skeleton skulls, because I've been collecting those as I work on this place. And uh, let's head back home. We'll take a look around things and uh, have a little chat, and that should be it for today's episode. I feel like we've gotten a lot done here, and uh, I'm going to work a little bit more on this during the live stream tonight. Uh, live stream every Monday night. And so I'm recording this as uh, on Monday, but uh, it'll probably go up Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so if you missed uh, if you missed the first live stream for this week, then just make sure you're here for next Monday at Twitch TV slash ToothPistol49. Uh, do we have a minecart here? Yes, we do. All right, I'm gonna hop on my minecart. We will uh, meet you back home. 
Oh man, finally back. That minecart ride is a little bit long and a little bit noisy, but we're good. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you this, but that is Creepers Gaming's portal. Uh, he he's the one who helped me out with a lot of the the design of the room. Oh goodness, Gast! Thank you for just spawning and lighting me on fire. <laughs> well then, oh I just got him. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, Creepers uh, or Ben. He helped me out with uh, a lot of the design over at the uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. So yeah, thank you so much. And that's his little portal right there. I'm just gonna make an entrance right there because I can. And I'll just put that right there. Because I always run around and I always come in this way anyways. So there we go. Uh, let's hop through my portal. And I want to run to spawn because it's been a little while. But uh, Desmo put out presents for everybody. And I still haven't gotten my presents. So I want to go take a look and see what I got from him. I'm just going to throw a few of these things right inside of here. Because I don't need that junk. And uh, let's run over to spawn. And on the way, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about a few things on the channel. So, first off, I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who checked out the video, uh, my new series, A Noob's Guide to Minecraft. Uh, I've been planning that series for a while, and I was trying to think of all these different ideas of how I was going to go about doing it, the structure, like the layout, uh, if I was going to do it scripted or make it more of like a, a let's play type thing. And I kind of did a little bit of all of that. And so I worked really hard on it uh, and put out, a, you know, put probably about 10, 15 hours just in editing with it and then several more hours writing and uh, recording it. So just, just for a five minute video. But I think it turned out really well and it seems like a lot of you guys really liked it too. I've gotten a great response from it. Uh, we've gotten tons of likes on it, a lot of views, a lot of people are checking out the channel who haven't actually heard of us before. So it looks like we got a bunch of coal from Santa, and oh yeah, Unbreaking 3 book, that's nice. Oh, and a Power 3, Unbreaking 3, and Sharpness 3. Probably use them both for Unbreaking, and some emeralds. Thank you so much, Royal Desmo. I'll have to uh, leave him a gift or something. I guess I did kind of leave everybody a uh, uh, Wither Skull, but still. I'm going to take that too, just to show that I've taken my gift already. Did everyone else already take their gifts? I don't know. I'm not going to open those and spoil it in case they haven't. But uh, yeah, got a great response on that series, so I'm super excited. I am almost done with the second episode, actually, which is going to be how to go caving. And it's not just going to be a simple how to go caving. It's basically going to show you all the different things you may encounter while caving and some of the best strategies to go about caving the most efficiently. So it might be useful, even if you guys have played Minecraft quite a bit. Um, yeah, so that's going to be coming out hopefully later this week. Uh, I still have... I mean, I've recorded it all. I do need to finish writing some of the uh, script for it and everything, all of the commentary, and uh, also I need to edit it, which I haven't done yet. Um, so yeah, we got that. And then also, one other series that has been long overdue, that uh, we've been missing a lot of episodes lately, is our Diversity 2 playthrough. And the simple answer to that is we have not been able to record that yet very very well because me and me and desmo have a very different schedule and so a lot of times we there's really only two days a week that we can record but most of the time we can't record on those days anyway because of some unknown circumstance that happens every time so we did actually get a chance and we finished the entire map of diversity 2 so that is going to be coming out soon i just have to get the footage from royal desmo and we'll uh, i'll start editing that and uh i'll try and get it out just you know right away get get the last few of them out so we can finish up that series and work on to newer and better things so that'll be good i think there's an enderman around here too ah i found him got him all right so yeah diversity too uh, sorry it was on a little bit of a delay that's because we weren't able to finish recording the episodes uh but we got them all done it was a way awesome map way awesome map it was tons of fun i, I wish we could have gotten those episodes out sooner but a lot of times we can't record quite as fast as we want to. So, yeah, keep an eye out for those two. Good things are happening on the channel. And uh, like I said, live stream every Monday. And uh, Royal Desmo is actually live streaming every Wednesday as well. So as you see this, you might be able to catch Royal Desmo's live stream. Twitch TV slash Royal Desmo. I usually jump in with him and play some games with him as well. So it's a lot of fun. But that is probably going to end it off for today's episode. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Hope you guys have already checked out some of the other Megacraft members' channels. Uh, they make good content. And until next time, I'm going to run away from the zombies so I can actually uh, do my outro. Jeez, you jerk face. Leave me alone. Until next time, we're going we're gonna to do a little jump jump. I just took out my boots on. A little jumpy jump jump, spin around, and uh, see you.
next time, everyone. Peace out.